Hey, what's going on, y'all? Jay from JS Films, and we're going to take a break from Unreal Engine 5 real quick because I've been meaning to make this video, but my laptop wasn't able to handle this scene right here. But that being said, we're going to be taking a look at NVIDIA Omniverse USD Composer's DaVinci Workshop. So if you have NVIDIA Omniverse installed and then go to the Exchange and you scroll down and you should see this thing under content called the Vinci Workshop 3D models. Download it, it's about 67 gigs, all right? And what I'm gonna be doing with this is we're going to be looking at this scene, I have it open right now, using a Renderbox's Molecule Air. I'll put the link in the description below if you wanna check this out. But right now we have eight RTX 6000 ADA generation cards in this machine that we're using. All right, so this is not mine. This is render boxes, and I don't have this physically here with me. I'm just kind of logged in via the cloud. But that said, I just want to see how crazy this is rendering-wise. And right now, we're actually in ray tracing here. That's why you see it flickering. So you can go to real time and play this back. Yeah, this is, this is not going to have any problems. Granted, it's only like 1227 by 548. It's actually only using one GPU in this scenario here because I was told, I don't know if this is still current or not, um, NVIDIA Omniverse is really smart. It can adapt It can adapt itself to the rendering. So it's only going to use what it actually needs. So right now, you know, one is okay. But if I switch this to path tracing, dude, see how ridiculous, how fast that was? And this, man, look at this. Like, this is like almost real time. No, it's flickering because it's just changing. It thinks it's changing the scene, but it's just steady. So for us to actually see how fast this is, I'm going to render a couple of things here, right? And then what I'll do is I'll render a movie. So I have a shot that I really like. It's, it's like a full-on cinematic that they created, big like big respect to the nvidia team for doing this i really like this shot right here so 3196 and if i go to the movie capture i'm gonna render this at ultra hd 4k and again i'm just messing around in here okay and if i go right here i'm gonna set this to path tracing and for the samples per pixel iteration like if you've seen my previous videos before usually what you want to do here is start with how many gpus you have and then go up until you hit the diminishing return, meaning no speed changes or anything like that. For a quick video, I did eight, but at the same time, I was still able to squeeze in 16 in there. For the path traces sample per pixel, I'm going to set this to 2048 samples. So this is the total samples that we're going to be uh, rendering, 2048 samples. That's pretty much like my favorite spot right now since I only have one GPU, but so we'll start there and that's okay. I'm not going to do it. I'm not going to enable motion blur. So right now we're just going to say capture this current frame in 4k at 2048 samples. All right. So here we go. And this is going to be real time. I'm not going to pause this or anything. So it's kind of like right now loading, rendering, and it's using all eight of the GPUs, which is freaking insane we have a total of 677 gigabyte of vram in here and again one of the great things about it's fucking time no bro i need a timer i missed it i missed it let me actually put a timer on that okay so uh, what i'm gonna change the frame a little bit so it's not like pre-cached or something right so let's do like 353 i actually missed it i, I didn't expect it to be that quick so this is, again, path tracing, 4-fucking-K resolution. All right, so here we go. Three, two, one, play. All right, because I missed it the first time. I thought it was going to take at least a minute or something. Crazy. This is bananas, bro. All right, so 11 seconds right now, 12 seconds. Ah, God. There's just stuff. I, I, I love how Omniverse does this. 20 second render 20 second render path tracing 20 second and i'm gonna go right here it's gonna be the second one since the first one just went way too fast so it's a 22.5 megabyte file and i'm gonna put this in the description below so you can check that out 
20-second render. Path traced. That's fucking insane, man. That it's, that's so exciting to see that at least in this software, it's working. And I, and I think I tried it on Blender also. It works. All right, so what I'm going to do next is I'll do 4096 sample. This is like the absolute, if you have the hardware for, this is like the sweet, sweet spot. A lot of people wish they can render 4096 and freaking path tracing with a single GPU, but that's just, that's just not a thing. So I'm going to reset my timer here. Just really curious to see how long this one's going to take. Capture. Crazy, man. So we're at 13 seconds right now, 16. Now we're technically doubling the path traces samples per pixel here. And again, it's using all of the GPU, 25 seconds. So this rendered in 25 seconds, path traced. All right, so yeah, that's all fine and dandy, but what about a movie? Can we render a movie, right? If so, how long would the movie take? I'm not going to turn on motion blur again because I just want to see, like, a crispy image. All right. So let's do... I don't want to do the entire sequence because I'm going to have to upload these images so I can download it to my computer. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go from, like, 2,900... So like 3200. So we can shrink that, not rendering, but shrink the file that I'm going to have to zip up. So I'll go with uh, 2900 to about 3200. 24 frames per second still. Still the same examples. And I'm going to put it in the same direction. I have the task manager right here on the left, so you can kind of see it. And I'll just say capture the sequence. And I'll just pull it back up. There is some music playing in the background, so you can probably hear that. But as you can see, we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. RTX 6008 is all working. And it looks like this is going to take an hour. Two minutes for 300 frames. 4096 samples per pixel. And uh, 4K resolution. Path traced. Okay, so it looks like we have 12 seconds left. And pretty much the entire time, the average per time per frame for a 4K 4096 samples per pixel was 12 seconds. That's freaking insane. So let's go to the render here. We have 301 frames, actually, not 300. And these images freaking look insane so that's like 300 frames right now that we rendered out so what i'm going to do now is i'll package this up download it in davinci resolve and then render a movie out just to kind of showcase it again if you want to check out these computers they're not even computers anymore they're like freaking machines check out the link in the description below man this is eight rtx a6000 ada gpus all stacked rendering in nvidia omniverse path tracing that said, till then, I'll see you on the next one. Peace out.